Hi there, Jake Spano, uh, Mayor in St. Louis Park, and this is your Minute with the Mayor. Uh, i got a lot to get to, so I'm going to dive right in. First off, if you have not been to the rec center uh, or the rock in the last, say, five days, you might want to check it out. The north entrance to the parking lot to the rec center is now open. The roundabout is finished, and um, we're really excited about this. It will help uh, get traffic in and out of that parking lot, which has always been a challenge. I speak from experience, having had two kids that had lots of activities at the rack and going to the swimming pool in Wolf Park. Um, so we've got links here uh, with a flyover video, as well as some suggestions of how to safely uh, navigate roundabouts if you're not familiar with them. Um, if you've ever driven on Louisiana Avenue around Highway 7, you've probably been through these, these sorts of roundabouts because we've got a, a three of them that are installed there. Secondly, uh, next week, uh, the 16th at 6.30 at Bethel Synagogue, uh, we will be doing a screening of Jim Crow of the North. This is a documentary that traces the uh, use of um, policy tools to create systemic inequities between communities of color and white folks as relates to housing in the United States. And after we watch the documentary, um, I'll be participating in a panel discussion with the, the movie's producer, as well as a woman by the name of Kristen Delagard. And Kristen runs the Mapping Prejudice Project at the University of Minnesota. They have been looking through residential property deeds in Hennepin County to find properties that have race, restrictive racial covenants on them. And I won't go into detail, but Basically, a restrictive racial covenant means that it was a, a clause that was put on the title to a property that meant that only white people could live on that uh, piece of land. And we're going to be talking about it in particular because my home has a restrictive racial covenant. In fact, my entire neighborhood has a restrictive racial covenant on it. And we're going to be talking about how um, homeowners can address those on their property. We're going to be using my property as an example as we move forward. But we'll, we'll talk about that. Um, there's links to more information on that here. I just, before we leave that though, I want to make sure folks know Bethel does have a mask requirement and they will require uh, proof of a negative COVID test within 72 hours uh, of the event or proof of vaccination before you come in. So just want to make sure folks are prepared for that. Next, as we know, this weekend they're talking about snow and that means snow emergencies. And so um, this week in mailboxes, you should begin receiving this little postcard, which talks to you, uh, gives you examples of ways that you can stay informed about snow emergencies, whether it is signing up for park alerts, whether it is downloading the MySLP app. There's a lot of different ways you can do this. You can get messages by phone, but keep your eyes open for this um, in your mailbox and take advantage of it so that you know when you need to be moving your vehicles and when snow emergencies are in effect. Lastly, I will just close by saying this Thursday is Veterans Day. And on behalf of myself, the city, and all of our residents, to those of you who served our nation, thank you very, very much for your service. Um, and in honor of Veterans Day, this Thursday, city offices will all be closed. So, um, uh, so that's it for this week. There's a lot there. Um, if you've got questions, concerns, comments, please leave them uh, below. Um, or if you've got suggestions or ideas of things you'd like to hear more about, please uh, feel free to leave those in the comments as well, and we'll try and get those addressed. Thanks, everybody, and have a great week.